Hello everyone, this is Connor, and welcome back to more Islanders. It's a beautiful rainy day here where I live, so kind of put me in the mood for playing some beautiful, uh, not rainy, but very wet at least, Islanders. Now one of the uh, recurring comments that I get in my comment section is people discussing these kind of archipelago islands, uh, where there are very few land masses, they're very small, and they're very spread out. Um, these islands present some unique challenges, and I haven't actually recorded one, so I decided to go ahead and make a little uh, tutorial explanation of one. Um, I blitzed through the first couple islands, so I just have 880 points, that is our starting number, uh, and we'll see how many points we can earn on this one. I am going to be playing a little bit fast, I don't have time today for a 4 hour long video or whatnot. Um, but these islands also tend to be lower scoring, so it probably won't be that long, no matter how uh, slowly I manage to play. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first things that I keep in mind with regards to uh, these archipelago islands is that you have to work with what you're naturally given, right? So normally, uh, the shape of an island, the location of the statue, the waterways, the flowers, the trees, all of those things factor into the layout of your city. But with an archipelago, you have a lot less of that stuff, and therefore the relative importance of each element is much higher. Um, so the way I tend to build on these is by building a large, flat, square area um, out of the water plateaus that I'm offered, and then utilizing the land that I have naturally for some of my industry structures. Um, things like shamans or woodcutters, um, anyone who needs some of these natural elements, you really need to prioritize giving them that space because there is so little. But your first unlock will always be water plateaus, and I highly recommend just building next to the statue. Your statue probably will be like this one in that it is uh, kind of isolated, not a lot of flat ground around it. But I am fortunate to get a green water plateau first. So we're going to be putting all the green ones together, and I actually think it's likelier that other green stuff ends up over here. Um, so there's a certain argument to just plopping this one like here or something, um, and rather than next to the tower. Um, and I think if my next water plateau is actually uh, a square wood one... Hmm. Actually, having back-to-back -back square greens, I'm just going to place these over here speculatively. Like, I'm not going to build on them... Uh, now, and I may not build on them for a little while, but I will want green square platforms over here in this gap at some point, because then you can kind of bridge all of this green ground. Um, so I think, I, you know, I have plenty of points. Water plateaus are high scoring. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place a few over here and then not use them for a while. Um, I don't think lumber is very good. It occupies a fair amount of space and uh, does not score terrifically high. Um, I think getting masons early on will be more benefit in the long run. So let's go ahead and continue the green train. Very fortunate to get this third one as well. Um, but after this, okay, I absolutely need to start building over here now, because I do need land to build on. With regards to these T-shaped platforms, uh, I hate them. I generally try and avoid them. I'm going to place this one buried into the stone like this, with the intention that its weird shape does not mess me up from playing uh, good plateaus later. Um, so I think 16 is plenty, we'll see what else I can get. Generally I try and place these off to the side, just use them for score. Um, okay, these are both bad, I'm gonna go with lumber. There just isn't enough green space for fields. The usual problem. Um, okay, another one of these. You can interlock them together, but I would be very wary about... I'm trying to think if I can create an example here. Very wary about expecting them to interlock in the future. Like, if you do this, you cannot then fit one in here. Like, absolutely not guaranteed. You really need to build some more space into it. I don't know exactly what causes that clipping uh, behavior, but yeah, something to keep in mind. Um, so I think... Putting this one, like, here is defensible. I think here isn't actually terrible. Um, it's certainly more valuable space. Yeah, we'll do that, because then a square here is fine, a square here is fine, squares over here. And then it's time to start using these masons. So, you want your masons to be near your city centers and houses. They also score reasonably well off the statue. 
Uh, they're really important with temples, but on archipelagos, I don't put a lot of attention into my temples, frankly. Um, I think that minus four is worth it, but it's kind of interesting that I can get one out here without it. So I wonder, I guess if I place a third, there's no way I would avoid both of the minuses. So let's get, let's get this minus nine and then get a, or a plus nine, pardon, get a plus eight right here, just close enough to everything here that it should be able to double score. Um, and then I might actually just take a plus five here. You want your mason stacked, like, obviously I'm not getting great points from these, but that's not really a high priority in my mind. City center as early as possible. The whole trick that we discovered in another video for delaying city center to get water plateaus, obviously useless here, <laughs> or pointless, I should say. Um, I'm gonna place this here. It's closer to the statue, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create like a large flat area I can build on near this statue. And I don't mind being very speculative with this space. Like I might put the city center here on the assumption that I'll fill in the rest of this area, right? You kind of need to plan ahead because you're going to be getting water plateaus like constantly. Um, that's one of the good things about these islands is that you always get a high density of water plateaus so you can expand pretty freely. Uh, it's a shame this is a fake rock. So options, I could take... Actually, that plus eight is not as bad as I would have expected. I would have thought that would have to be way further out. I guess it's the same as the one I saw earlier that had no minus. We'll take that. We count those. <laughs> Um, I think here is fine because my city is going to build in this direction. Um, in general, you want to stay clustered around the islands that you have. They provide a natural benefit, and there's really no benefit to just like heading out this way. So build within the area that you have. It's another pro tip. I'm just delaying farming. I don't have the space for it. Uh, this time, I'm not going to put the green platform over here. I've created enough space that I feel comfortable and I can come back and put more later. Um, but things like the resort oasis are going to go over here at some point. So these platforms will earn their keep in addition to their high starting scores. Uh, but this one is just going to go somewhere in here. Okay, cool. So it can clip through there. Um, whether or not water plateaus can clip through things is a really interesting open-ended question. You see, even now it's begrudging about going through. Like that last time I came in, I was not able to. I don't have any hard or fast uh, guide for when you'll be able to clip or not. Um, it seems to be based on the height of the structure, the height of the intersecting buildings, the angle you approached from, the speed you approached, and also where your cursor is. Um, like it can be impossible to clip from certain angles because of the cursor's location, um, but other angles are possible. Um, I can probably bring this in further yeah, from this side than I could from the other, although this building is low enough that it's preventing all clipping. So yeah, I don't have like a hard rule for when this will or won't work. Uh, it's kind of just the sort of thing you have to test out each time, but I do like the prospect of clipping into here. See, it works better from the back for whatever reason. Um, building here does kill this sand, which is interesting because the sand is buildable. And it's actually almost exactly a house wide right there, which is kind of cute. Um, I guess I leave the sand. There's no reason it has to be up on a platform. I think I will put one here, because this little awkward nub is not worth a lot to me. But, you know, building a house here is fine. Then I'm still going to delay building my houses and stuff in case I get a second city center or maybe a shaman. But I do think that means... I have to place either um, hops or wood now. So I think I'm going to go with wood. It's not ever going to be worth more. Um, you know, I'm not going to get additional trees. So there's a cute tiny spot there for 11. Over here is worth like, oh, okay, I can get, I like that 10. Um, it's kind of out of the way. 10, and I guess there were higher point value ones down here, but I believe even the lumberjacks are a downside to um, their negative on the resort oasis. So maybe if I'm considering resort oasis to be here, I need to put these over here, 
right? So the resort oasis could touch them on that side and then build my lumberjacks far back from that platform so I can hopefully avoid them. That seems defensible. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it's just not a lot of points either way. Like I'm getting a 9 instead of a 12. It's not a, even the ideal case is not worth that much to me. Um, yeah, I think that 8 will get in the way of any points down here. And I, I could, you know, start placing these here or whatever. Um, but I think this green area is worth a little bit more than the sandy area. So I th think I'm okay with this compromise. Um, get a 5, and then there's probably yeah, a decent one out here. So these have successfully avoided um, hurting any resort oasis I build. And then I may or may not even have a, a spot to place. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to place it yet. There's no need to, and it might be worth more later. I am instead going to place those two. And then I'm one point short. Oh, 11 points short. Hmm. Mm, yeah. I think the off chance of missing out on seven points is better than like the guarantee um even if i get shamans or whatever the house will be worth six more over here or five more from a shaman so but i am placing the house next go around there's no way i'll make it through without yeah i think this is defensible gotta keep up that pace of play all right so if i was to build the shaman here it's a minus 20 seems like um can't probably get any lower than that and have it be close enough to matter. I saw a 19. <laughs> um, yeah, we're very close to having a spot like this. Oh, but I guess that would still be 20 because I've picked up this minus instead of this one. Okay. Well, we can slot that in. I don't think will impact. Yeah, should still be able to fit two houses right in there. Now, I think a negative 20 shaman is worth it. And then my next shaman can be actual points, like 33. Nothing crazy. But 33 is good. Um, I can afford the negative 20, though. I have seven houses saved up. So, yeah, let's go with that. And then the next step will be one of these. I can get a plus two or a minus two. I'll take the plus two, that is acceptably large. All right, now I'm back at net neutral. So I just need to get, um, we're already 69 points. Okay, let's start placing some houses. You see the ones out here are pretty juicy in terms of points. Um, there may even be, yeah, there's a few spots up here I can put houses, but I'm going to gravitate away from those to begin with. Um, the shape is always a struggle. I guess that's fine. So sometimes you may see, like, there's obviously higher point values here than the one I'm taking, but I'm just trying to leave myself as much space as possible. And there's really no, like, if I'm going to build a house filling this area anyway, there's not a major difference to me building this one first or this one first. Like, I know sometimes you end up one or two points short, but in my mind, at least, it's better to fill in the ones that are less likely to increase in value. Um, looks like I have space for a wall. So I should keep that in mind, but I'll build that, and then I don't think this will fit, no. Space for a wall, though. The fissures are excellent, they take up no space. Um, we can do fun stuff like this, <laughs> uh, but this sand down here is um, still reasonably valuable, so there's really no need to replace it, and then you end up with less uh, platform space. Although I actually find by the end of the game you have more plateau than you do building. For what it's worth. 
but yeah, I think we deduced this one cannot be clipped through. So I'm just going to put this here. Um, and because they're green, they can also support parks, which is kind of a interesting fringe benefit. Um, we'll do one of those, immediately delete it, do one of these, yeah, perfect. Um, that's an interestingly small space. I wonder what else will fit there. But let's go ahead and keep caching these in. Hmm. I really want to fit my next L right there, but I'm not totally confident in that spacing. So I think I'm going to build another house first until I can get an L to determine that size. Sometimes you got to take the L. Another green one, excellent, okay. So we're getting to the point where I might connect up on this side. Um, I don't know where else this one could gainfully go. I guess just like in here, just to create more green space. That's not terrible, I have enough room to build on otherwise. So we'll go with that. And check and see if the next one is an L. It is. Sweet. Uh, that's actually a little more space than I need, so I can probably go in all the way, slide this in, an easy 26. And then, oh, you see some unfortunate spacing here where, like, there really should be a buildable space like that or something, but it's just not quite enough because of how this um, couldn't be flush with this edge here, you know, small things like that. But if I'm leaving room for a wall anyway, then, then I guess this is, there's a lot of good spaces along here, honestly. Parks. Oh, huts already. Okay. All right. Now I don't feel as bad about um, using the brown ones just for land. Um, I could create more space around the statue, but I think I'm actually going to continue trying to bridge these two. So could just go there and just call the rest of this area. Um, Hmm, okay. These are both really good. I guess I'll build that. Oh, excellent. And then come out a little bit. I get two points, but then I can't put a square house there. Unless I did this, <laughs> which I think I am doing. But I also think I'll tuck this all the way in and take that 24 instead. So, so far, this island is played pretty similar to a traditional island. Um, the only difference is I'm being a lot more thoughtful in how the shape of my island is going to move through the water because I have to spend a building every time I want to change the shape. Right? I don't just have land to build on except for these very limited areas. You'll also notice I basically haven't used the natural areas. I mean, I've placed these four buildings and then technically, I guess, the masons um, and then a little bit of sand. But everything else has been on uh, water plateaus. I would say that is typical. I'm not really looking to get a lot of value out of spaces like this because they're so awkward, right? Like, if you look at all the different spaces I can fit a house here, like maybe I could fit two houses on this level if I had an L shape. Um, but most of these are not going to support very many buildings. Um, and you're going to end up with more wasted blank space between them. Um, so unless you have large flat areas or don't need buildings to be very concentrated, uh, like with lumber, then I would highly recommend building your buildings on the plateaus where you can create nice flat building areas. Um, also, you can do little wiggles like that. There's also, like, I don't tend to utilize this very heavily. Maybe that's a flaw in my play, but you can always... Uh, do stuff like this, where you see there is obviously a gap there, um, but I can still build across it without too much trouble. Um, so that's something you could keep in mind to make your area slightly larger. 
Um, I don't tend to take that route. I don't really have a good reason why not. I just prefer it this way. Um, it's easier to place, looks better. And we'll go right there. So you see, I've actually created like a pretty large area here surrounding uh, my city center. And I have a big green patch here, um, which is valuable because I can place parks on it. But I'm not going to place that park yet. I think I am going to try and jump my hops fields up onto here. I know this is super awkward. Maybe I should wait until I have a closer green plateau. I can maybe even get one right here. Um, yeah, I won't need the hops field if you look at my points, so I guess I'll hold it. Uh, 25 is fine. <laughs> and I'm holding uh, this fountain for the same reason I'm holding my mansions. Uh, I ideally would like a second city where they can all go, but so far I also haven't gotten very many mansions, which has allowed me to hold them. That's one thing I pretty rarely talk about, but... Whatever random buildings you unlock definitely de like define what you build when. Because um, if I'd gotten like five more mansions and had five fewer other things or five fewer houses, I would have have to have uh, started mansions by this point. Um, I did like this fountain I saw though. I saw like a 28 or something up here or 30. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. It's not within range of parks, though. So how about we instead... 23? Oh, there's a 29. I know it takes up green space, but... Also... Oh, I guess that was as far in as it goes. Okay. Because now these parks are getting, like, excellent. You know? 16-point park. Um, the plateau, as always, is just, like a better water plateau. It does all the same things, but better. They'll also score very high because uh, your masons will be concentrated since there's so little stone to build on. Um, I might put this one here as a speculative temple placement. Um, I could also just like ram it in here and then uh, try and do a wall plateau above it for the temple. But honestly, this seems better. And even if the temple doesn't end up going here, it's still creating uh, a high value area. I guess I don't really have a house to show you, but the house would score from all of these, uh, the masons, the statue. Then we can go back to brown. I might just do this here, just to keep flowing this direction um, around the fountain is my new focal point. And of my remaining buildings, I think I'll build both parks. Okay, I was really hoping they'd both be lines, so that actually worked out well. Uh, tower, of course, still delaying farming, as always. Poor maligned farming. Like, maybe that's the great flaw in my play. Maybe farming's actually amazing, and I've just never given it the chance. I doubt it, but it's possible. Um, I'm building this before I build any more uh, water plateaus, because they score three points per, and, like, three points is... A relevantly large amount. Um, this green plateau I'm going to try and clip into the terrain here. I don't think I can get it back on grid. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can get it back on grid, but I can turn it like this direction. And then maybe rotate it. Okay, I got one rotation. The second one broke it, but we're getting there. Oh. Hmm. This is the kind of wiggly stuff that I have absolutely no rules for and like very minimal intuition even it's just process of elimination every time just figuring out does this work can this slide in here i have no metric for judging before actually attempting it um i don't think this is very good right because i don't think yeah that stone won't go away um i mean it's kind of big brain to just plug it in like that and just let it overlap a little and fit these on here. Um, 
I suppose I'll just do that. It's not like I'm building further this way. Like, this is definitely the last of this chain. And then I can put that there. When I eventually build this, it'll be pretty easy to get all three of those involved. But now I have two more houses, which would be my preferred uh, way to continue. So... 31 over here. 27. Yeah, you know, I like these okay. These are reasonably high point. Um, I think another square house will fit there. But I accidentally blocked my wall, so I'm glad I rotated, because I had totally forgotten that was my plan. <laughs> but I'll do that and that, and still leave a wall space. Haven't really built much industry yet, so obviously this warehouse will languish in my uh, hand, what are you going to call this? My build bank. Um, if we are building temple here, then we obviously want this really close by. Could also just take like an easy 48 um, or a 38 that is closer. I think the 48 kind of clipped in seems fine to me. Uh, let's see how far out I can get it. Looks like that. That's all right, though. I mean, I don't mind placing that mostly just for its own intrinsic score. Um, creates a little bit of useful ground. And then another park. Basically has to be here. We're getting to the point where these mansions are acceptable, even without their own city center or shaman. Um, we also have this shaman we could place. I could even get a plus zero or plus three and then count on um, a mansion sort of bridging the gap. That doesn't seem terrible. I know it's 30 points short of what the other shaman would get me, but um, I can always place that other shaman later. So, yeah, let's go as far in as we can. Absolutely pixel perfect right there, I think. Hmm, might be room for a wall. Right there. Getting some pretty good scores. Oh, this circus is actually going to be kind of fat. I can get a 54 right now and just walk away with it. Um, I wish I had a house that I could put there to test what that space is otherwise worth, but I think that's actually good. I think putting the circus there is um, worth it. I mean, 54 is, is just a lot of points, especially for just a stupid circus. Um, two more water plateaus. I tend to place these first because they're not typically modified. Um, I mean, you, you did see me place that sawmill first, but other than that... Um, and I'm not going to, like, take some sort of huge hit on a sawmill just to get that plus three. But, you know, if I was placing a sawmill out here or something, I would go ahead and do it. Um, okay, so now we're in the awkward spot where I guess this one's fine. But you don't want to place, like, that or something um, because it really reduces... I can't show with my cursor, but on the left side of the shape here, it really reduces that area... I can build in over there. Um, so instead I'll do this, because I'm not going to want to clip in here too much anyway. Um, do that, and then a square one can still go there, and then I can theoretically fit another square in there. Although actually, this particular space, it may not really have mattered. Um, maybe it's better to put this one in first. Eh. <laughs> okay, so let's try that logic. So, looks like... I need to go about there. And this is a big gamble. Like, if that space isn't large enough, then uh, there's definitely a consequence. So, let me make extra sure. Just go over, like, a little bit further than I think I have to. All right, we'll try it that way. Um, if, that did, if that does end up being a mistake, then I'll chalk it up to my speed of play. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start preloading parks for the uh, resort oasis. I don't really have a good um, large enough green area over here. I probably went too hard on putting green parks out here, or green uh, plateaus. So in return, I have significantly reduced the amount of area I can build parks on over here, because you can't parks on top of water plateaus. Um, so I know I created a little gap right there. Um, that might be useful for a tower in the future, um, but I just wanted to have that park fitting in. And, and I think we were looking at this 14 as being acceptable. And moment of truth, hey, okay, sweet. So I will evenly space it between these two, um, and then all of that should be clippable, should be able to fit, fit a building over any of it. Um, really do not have a very large city yet. A lot of your points come from these water plateaus, so your city might end up being a little bit smaller. Um, there's just more buildings in the pool if you count all the water plateaus. Um, Wow. Awkward 31. Like, I can't fit in any further. But that's also like a 30 whatever, so I'll just do this. Um, oh, I cut myself off that 54. I can probably still get a comparably high score right here, though. Yeah, okay. So that does seem worth it because now a wall, probably two walls, will fit in there. And then this next one can still be a 20-whatever. Yeah, not quite a 25, but 54 is pretty significant. Bonus on that count. Get the Resort Oasis, so now we can test how, uh, how well I did with the radius regarding those Lumberjacks. Um, pretty good. Yeah, those Lumberjacks are not going to be a problem. Excellent. Unlike, uh, you know, if you build over here or something. Uh, but your Resort Oasis will always score well on this island because it gets bonuses from Water Plateaus. I um, mean, a five-point bonus, a not insignificant bonus. Um, lots of places this one could go. I'm kind of running out of room over here, and I'd love this to be green, but I may not have time to wait. Um, so maybe the move is just, I was hoping to get a clipped in version like that, but could also just do this. Hmm. This is not ideal. Let me see if, uh, if I can be convincing. Yeah. Okay. So that gap there is floatable. So this is probably okay. If I can end up doing something like that. <laughs> um, I do wish it was green. I guess I'm not building mansions this go round. I can probably get by with other... Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. I think I will need to build some mansions. I don't want to build fishers until I get at least one more city center. It's kind of garbage I haven't gotten one yet. Um... I'll build my houses and see how I'm feeling. 22, and I'm probably not going to build up here right now, but it's good to know they're pretty good values. I saw a 22 up there. Um, and out here has mostly fallen off. Still got a 20. Okay, we'll get a 21. 21 is excellent. And then a couple more parks. And... Hmm. A little awkward. So I guess right now we're going, like, here. <laughs> Let me see again what that radius looks like. Okay, let's just cram a park up in here. No, I, I mean, I really don't want to take a spot that could be used by hops, though. 
Um, although I haven't gotten very many hops yet. Uh, but I also don't want to build like an eight point park because I just should. All right, we'll take it. And I can do one of these. Missing out on five points if I get another hops field. Okay, let's just build these without the, um, man, 14 points? Whew. Without the extra water plateau. Let's just see what we can do without it. I'll take a 14, and a 13 is totally fine. That's not even really a great score. I'm just pleased that it fits so well. <laughs> the whole reason I placed it. Um, third plateau, am I still thinking temple over here? I can't imagine I successfully wall plateau off the side. Um, so yes, we'll say my temple is still going over here, which means I can just do like one of these and that's going to be high scoring and enable high scores. Could also do this. But I think 34 is just too much to, uh, to miss out on. I guess I'll take 32. I think that'll boost my temple by more than two points, having access to this much space right next to it. I mean, even... Oh, that's... I expected that to be better, but I guess all the minus 10s immediately knock it down. Okay, so I have this and then a green one, so I'm not... I can put a green one here. I don't need to rely on this necessarily. Um, I will put it here. And then the green. Okay, excellent. So kind of saved by the bell there. I mean, the fact that I built right up to the edge and have just now unlocked more land... Um, came a little bit later than would have been ideal, but we got there. Um, start racking up some of these points. These are not exactly high scoring, but sometimes you have to accept what you get. And I haven't gotten a second city center, so. All right, moment of truth. Temple is looking okay. Yeah, that's not terrible. We can boost that, but even at the moment, it's not terrible. Now I have too many building types, so starting to lose track. Let's go ahead and build these houses to get them out of here. Plenty of easy 20s, 13, 20, 18. Um, nothing really remarkable standing out, so I'll go ahead and take some of the high point value options. Um, still not building the warehouse. I'm going to save these mansions. If I get a city center, I'll put it out here and then mansion around it, and that'll be worth some good points. Don't want to build huts yet. I don't really care for this thing, but I guess I'll go ahead and put it down right here, which does mean um, this water plateau was a mistake. Should have been three points higher, but no big. Um, I'm kind of running out of room over here. So let's work on that a little bit. I guess the temple is going here. So I really need one of these to T-shape in right there. Hmm. All right, let's just do this, just to create more green, and because it's reasonably high scoring on its own merit. Um, I don't know how I missed that I had this shaman, but the shaman might be good enough out here. Um, I'll keep it in mind if I need to go out there. Okay, great. This T is good. I can fit it in right here, maybe. 
yeah. Sweet. So now this whole area can get coated with buildings before the temple comes down. That will make the temple high value. I guess I... Hey, I was really hoping one would fit here. I was not believing it would. But, um, although actually this is worth way more, so I'll just do the wall instead. Speaking of walls that are worth a lot... Alright, so I have like one good wall right here. And no wall right there. I don't think I can fit two. Okay, we'll just go with one. Might be possible to wiggle two, but trying to keep my pace of play up. As I often say, this time I'm actually trying to stick to it. So, I need more hops fields, man. I also have two taverns, which is like awkward because there's just no chance they touch the brewery. Hmm. <laughs> Hilariously, this is actually not bad because that'll uh, influence some mansion scores as well. I'm trying to avoid placing my mansions in hut, but it's kind of a challenge. I'm not really doing great here. The one city center is really holding back my fishers and huts. I could place this wall already, but I'm probably gonna have a mansion here, which would be higher scoring if placed before the wall. All right, so what if, hypothetically, I do my hut out here try and get it like a two wide building away on both sides which I completely failed to do <laughs> uh, something like that is that okay there we go yeah that does barely fit okay so we'll do that and then put some mansions in hopefully Man, 21 points. Whew. I will take it. And then a wall there is now not going to uh, hurt anything else. Suspiciously late seaweed, now that I think about it. 18 points, and the, uh, the temple score is rapidly rising. Um, still no second city center, but I can use my seaweed farm, so... The seaweed fields impact like a bunch of buildings, but I don't honestly remember all of them super well. Just a bunch of buildings dislike them. Um, but I think it's more worth thinking about their benefit, um, mostly because I don't really, I don't have memorized everything that dislikes them. Um, so my city center is going to be here and here. So then my fishers will be in that region as well. And I know fishers don't like seaweed farms. So fishers are going to be like, over here and up here and over here probably I think one in here might fit maybe not um, so does the resort oasis care uh, seaweed fields give it a minus okay so I can't do seaweed over there I might just do it over here and like ignore any of the bonuses or I could do it up here, but that's definitely going to be tagged. Hmm. Probably doesn't matter a ton. It's like minus four points or whatever. I'll just... I will, you know, make a passing effort to avoid it. So I think this island's a no-go. <laughs> as is that plateau. Actually, you know what? Because the fields score from the plateaus, I should just build over here. Like, that's guaranteed to be pretty good points. So I'll just slap this right... I guess... Yeah. Slap this right here. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of challenging. I'm not totally sure what the play is here. 
Uh, it doesn't mention seaweed. Okay. So, something like this is tempting, but then I don't get, um, I don't get multiple of the plateaus. So let's just go right here. Let's, I'm not certain it's right, um, but I also don't believe it's wrong, so <laughs> try that. And then, yeah, these will be pretty good points. And again, I don't think the temple cares about seaweed at all. It does not. All right, well, it's probably not getting any higher than 20 points for being back in there. Um, yeah, we'll jump that up a little bit. Still got some high point values out here. A 20, wow. Um, I might try and not build that until I have a larger mansion to fully occupy that space. But, I mean, it is a 20. Might be better to just take it. Um, then, oh yeah, yeah, that 21 is like perfect. That's exactly how I would have utilized that space if I'd been given the choice. So the fact that it happened naturally is perfect. 28, but give myself no additional building room. Tempting. Could also continue expanding this area for what little it's worth. It's five bonus points over here, so that already puts me at 22, or there's 28 already. <laughs> Or in like this is worth a lot. Let's do that. That seems workable. Oh, finally another of these. Almost forgot that what they look like. And this can actually go. right there, I guess. Kind of leaning towards just building this. Obviously, it'll be worth more in the future, but I'm kind of stalling out on a lot of fronts. The, the second city sitter continues to evade me. Um, that's unfortunate. Just a tiny bit too narrow. Well, let's continue expanding over here place another midpoint value mansion. I guess a wall right here is going to happen. It seems good to me. And then one more building. So I guess it's tavern and just touch every house and like call it a day it's not exactly very inspired but it does work all right monuments another great building another one i haven't really super been planning on um, my lack of city centers is going to keep this score low I also don't have a ton of parks, honestly. Like, I've placed every park I have, but um, there just aren't that many. There's like, what, six or seven here and then two? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Oh, and seven, eight out here. Yeah, so maybe there is, uh... Yeah, there's not even like a decent... <laughs> no good monuments yet. I'll have to hold that for a while. I want a second seaweed farm before I put the field. Um, as my city continues to grow and sprawl, I'm just kind of tracing ahead of it with these water plateaus, trying to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, that's excellent. That's a gift that I can fit to up there. And how low of a score am I willing to get? I think it's better over here. I 
and it might just be place the other tavern because I am many houses away from that being worth much more than it is right now. Thirty-one looks like thirty-five would be like the optimal score. Uh, or actually, here's forty-one, so getting thirty-one instead is not great. I guess I'm missing eight points from those. But given the placement of the other tavern, 31 is probably about as good as I can count on. And then of all my buildings, I think probably the seaweed farm is the next. The next to be placed. All right. Wall plateaus, as described, I don't really think I can build like all the way out here, but I don't know where else to gain fully build. Um, yeah, that does seem seem like the play, even though it's not like remarkable. I don't think I can build off this at all. Um, let's just try and get close to the temple. I can put some more mansions down. Also, I'll be building over. Um, Actually, maybe I can just go go back to the city center, build more houses. Um, that seems fine. These will also be good platforms for things like markets. Um, and even without that minus 20, this would be significantly worse than the area I've been preparing. Um, but it is a good spot for like a market. I mean, good relatively. And it'll actually be a good monument as well. So... This is interesting. I'm really running out of steam, and I don't want to have to place many of my large, high point value buildings, but it's kind of looking like that's the path I'm trending down. I place that just for points. I don't need anything else in this area. I have plenty of land to build on right now. As I said, I think platforms tend to outpace your actual buildings. So I haven't even looked at my warehouses. Um, I guess all of this... Yeah, all the masons are really what's going to score them points. So maybe I actually do that to continue my point progress. One of those, and then maybe like, sometimes you can even do really awkward um, things where, I'm not, not sure this one will work because of that mason, but where you can like build over, yeah like that. <laughs> Like, this is just over the water. I don't know why it's um, possible, but I'm not really arguing. Okay, so that's where I'm going to build. So let's do the fissure first. And I think one fissure should be enough to get me by. So I'll build... Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and go right there in the good spot. Um, and then there's a 44... Yeah, you see, I'm just, like, clearly... Okay, why is this possible? I don't know why, sometimes it just takes some wiggling to get that to work. I don't have any other industry I want to place first, so we'll take a 44. That's better than I was afraid of, actually. Better than I was expecting, I should say. Okay, that was an acceptable round of unlocks. I think fields do, yeah, three points per, so... I guess I'm building out here. I could get 31, or I could actually go on this grass out here and get 31 and whatever my fields are getting. I'm sorry, Resort Oasis, but this is actually better. So we'll do that, and then... Oh, I guess I'm just getting one point of contact if I build it that far back. 
It does fit on this awkward little <laughs> spit of land, though. Okay. And then we'll go right there, right there, and then if I put an another green right here, I can probably get uh, more placements going on. But I'll leave that like it is for right now. And eventually another warehouse in this region will be worth pretty good points. Actually, I might do that right now. That's... Um, once again, better than I had really expected. Yeah, 31's okay. I don't have a lot to place. Um, I'll go ahead and use these mansions. So I can get super points by building them on this. Or I can build them over here, get pretty good points, and boost my temple. And actually, I think the temple's coming down, like, soon. Um... <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to build much longer without major building placements. So that's like a 27 versus like a 35 is the best I can get up here. And 35 is really good. Um, so it kind of comes down to how many more mansions do I expect to get. And with eight huts, I think this is worthwhile. I think I place those two. And then... Hmm. What is my final building? I and mean, I could just... It's actually not quite enough points. Um, hmm. Let's go back to this old trick. I was really hoping I'd be able to fit two in here. But it's just, like, obviously too small now that I actually look at it. I'll take 22. Immediately get a seaweed farm. Thankfully not. <laughs> okay, and one more 17, and hopefully that is still, yeah, still within the contact range. Um, okay, so that's my temple. I might want to put, like, one more wall there first, but... I can also get a 39 up here versus down on the ground, uh, 19, there might be like a 22, oh, I saw a 26, that's actually a lot of points uh, considering it doesn't take up any of this hyper valuable space. And can I get by with no temple this round? I think so. I think barely, but I think so. Okay, so the ideal is still like right there. So I think, I think that's good. And then... Do some of this. You know, line park. Maybe a little bit of this. What an awkward assortment of buildings. I'm kinda getting there. Okay. One mansion and one wall is probably all I need to uh, finish out this area. 17 and 18. Very nice. Now I guess I just do this and take my 279. <laughs> take it to the bank. Um, I don't think I'm getting much more in this region. Maybe like one more mansion there, but I guess now it's time to mansion on the high ground. That was actually probably my best temple uh, on an archipelago, maybe ever, certainly in a while. That is a difficult place to find value. Excellent. Excellent. So, 35. Lots of 20s. I'm going to try and leave that top one clear. 
for the market. The second market will have to be out here somewhere so I can get both of these. Uh, but... And the fact there's a 40 up here. Like if I get four of those, I've already used this space better than for the market. But then there's also the angle of like, what do I get for building a market down here? Um, actually, just seeing how high this is like single-handedly has talked me into <laughs> talked me into what I was originally arguing against. Yeah, I think up here is going to be houses. That's that's what it's looking like. So we got a 40, and then even this is going to be significantly improved by being up there. Oh, car alarm. Uh, hmm. So this is eight points for the monument or five points for the resort oasis. So it's either like a 16 or a 14 or a uh, 12 if it's a five that's a 14 All right, we'll take 14 and then we'll take 16 it's actually outside the range hmm. uh, that seems better anyway I need one more green water plateau to really start fitting fields in over here I have four fishers and still no second city center. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm glad that I held these since I just got a second uh, second farm. So I'll put this one down. There's one school of thought that says I should just take the hit, place it here, but I think this is going to be more points total. There's a 23... 19, plenty of 15s. Not bad. This area in general has been higher scoring than I expected. It's given me a lot of momentum. Um, when area, other areas have not done as well. I'll take a 30 leaving room for a wall. Hmm. A lot of good space out here. Like, I'm actually utilizing these green plateaus that I placed so long ago. Like, keep in mind, this was my first water plateau placement. I just now used it. It was an investment. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter where up here I go. It's going to be 80 basically everywhere. So I can get the 38. And that's garbage. I do have this second mill, though. Hmm. There might be something going on out here. But I can also just get like flat 26 or flat 22, plus I get to boost other parks. I think I hold it for these fields. I get to boost other fields, pardon. I think I hold it until I have another green plateau out there. Hmm. 
challenging. It's always a challenging game. You always end up in situations you've never been in before. Interesting wall. I think I'll take it. I don't think I'm building anything else out there. Okay. So at this point, I already kind of have places set out for all of these buildings, and it's mostly just a practice of actually putting them there in the right order. Um, going to put some more mansions or houses up here before the next wall. I think it is time to go back and find whatever my highest point shaman is. I guess a lot of those flowers got paved over, which is kind of unfortunate. I can still get 18, and I, yeah, I don't want to put anything on those platforms, so. Take 18. I put it up here so I can build a couple houses next to it, theoretically. Maybe, like, my final couple houses will end up over there. Thirteen... and eleven's fine. I'm not super jazzed about what's been happening over here, but this area is kind of awkward, uh, hemmed in on both sides. Alright, one more building. And... I suppose it'll be a fissure. It's kind of awkward. Pretty good looking island overall. These water plateaus kind of blend in with this other <laughs> massive plateaus that don't look quite as offensive. Uh, here this finally is, so this is where it would have gone, theoretically. Bit late now, though. So, where does it go now? Well, I can get a pretty high point value here, and there's also that shaman there, so then houses in that area continue to be valuable. I can get a higher point value, higher individual point value, sort of out here, but then there's no other incentive to build out here. That's an interesting comparison. So here I get 28, here I get 49. So it's like 21 points. Will I get 21 extra points because this shaman and these mansions are already here? Um, those walls might get in the way, but it looks like I can kind of skirt their edges and still get the plus threes from the uh, plateaus. Yeah, I'll try it. I think this is pretty good. It's also a more direct 28, like right there. There's a 29 that keeps popping up. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm taking the eight. Then I think I like some 18s and stuff. They're not terrible. Um, so I think I do place these first. And then throw in one of these. Go ahead and score that because it's not getting any better. That actually might have been a reason to build the city center here. I didn't check to see if it tags it, but would have been something to keep in mind. A little behind me at this point. Um, I'm just going to place this for a 40. I don't think I'm doing any better than that at this stage. And now the houses up there have gotten bad enough, it's time to return <laughs> to the ground. Alright, like that. Might be space for a wall right there, actually. Hmm. 
Is that reason enough to move it out a tiny bit more? I think so. Just create a little bit more gap. Cash in some more fishers now that I have two city centers, finally. And hey, it passes the wall test. Excellent. So, that's still a really good mansion. Wow. Mansion's smaller detection radius comes up a lot more. Um, than you might expect compared to the house's larger radius. But yeah, the mansions being just slightly smaller matters a lot of the time. Actually, it's not just slightly smaller, it's noticeably smaller. Um, prepping for a second resort oasis. Um, probably be out here. Ooh, that's interesting. 108 versus 90 whatevers. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm in. That's pretty cool. Actually, an interesting resort location. <laughs> um, I could also kind of bail on having parks up here and instead transition into these fields. Which would be better for the resort oasis. Um, it would get a minus for the mill. It's just minus three though. It's not really relevant. Hmm. That is... That sounds good to me. Really not certain it's better, but... Um, it's all kind of relative anyway. I can't quite tag any of those from up here. That might have been a reason to build these further to the left. I didn't really think about it until I was already pretty far into the placements. Okay, it's coming along pretty well. I'm filling up a lot more space. I think, depends what building I get, but next time I might be placing a market. Yet for the time being, we can get by with just a wall. Do this one first. Uh, yeah, that looks like a market to me. <laughs> Didn't really get very many points, so. Really? Doesn't fit there? Hmm. Okay. I'll bite. That's pretty good, actually. This is a surprisingly uh, profitable green area, considering how awkward it started. This ended up being more awkward than I expected, but we've recovered it. Now these I can just place for points, probably. 56. Pretty good lump of points. No argument here. Just need to find that slight spot where it's placeable. And then another one out here. Yeah, 32 is good. Some 30 point huts smattered around this area. 
probably more 20 point huts, but we shall see. Twenty point fisher is pretty good. And it's actually just my second fountain. Just interesting. I would certainly expect to have more by now. But 45 is pretty good. Um, it might be better somewhere out here, but I don't see it. Forty versus twenty-six versus much lower. Yeah, I'll take the forty on the high ground. That's fine with me. And this mansion's still pretty good. Looks like a lot of what's over here has been has become too constrained to build in, but. Houses will still be good, though. Seventeen sweet at this stage. I still have room for a high-value wall crammed up in there. I know I'm talking less, but I feel like this section kind of plays itself, and I'm also not giving as much thought to each individual building. I'm trying to keep the pace of play up. Got some stuff to do today. <laughs> so I've made over 4,000 points on this island so far. Um, I think I actually am going to take a little break here and return to it, although for you guys, of course, this will take no time at all. Okay, I'm back. Same great island, same great strategy. So let us pick up right where we left off. There's a few high value city locations remaining. I'm amazed this is so good even in spite of the minus six, but that seems like the clear choice unless I need to put my mansions there. Which I might. I can fit one mansion there, but not this shape. Hmm. Alternately, there is kind of a new city center out here. Okay, so I can still get my 11s. So I suppose we take that high point value house first. And then move back into mansions. It's mildly awkward to receive the same shape back to back. At least I can do that. And I've already placed the monument over here. Hopefully I can get decent positive over here. Hmm. Kind of a tough spot with these fields. So I think continuing over them is uh, continuing them over here is like marginally more points. Marginally more points right now. But... Might not be wise long term. I'm not exactly sure where the second mill is going to go either. Get some... Decent chunk of points like that, or... Place it over here here and then extend the field. That has to be the play. Yeah. I may have already solved that one last time, so <laughs> apologies if you just watched it again. I think looking at these buildings, I do have to place a market. Um, I need 77 points, so... I could either place both walls and the seaweed field and maybe the mill or maybe a hut, or just the market. And the market is probably uh, close to whatever its final score is going to be. I guess I had a better market over here that I blocked out by placing that circus or this house. Both of those probably got in the way of this quite fitting here. 
even though the market is a surprisingly flexible building and the spots it will fit, I just don't foresee it fitting here. It seems hemmed in on every side, essentially. Which is unfortunate, because that means I won't be able to get a 20-point boost from touching that second warehouse. Um, but I can accept a 124. I mean, that's a completely, completely acceptable market score. And the second one can maybe go on like a platform right where I want the fields to be. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> weird, weird round of drops. So I'm probably gonna have to use tower or hut just to get through this wave, but we'll play it out. We'll take a look. Um, this is so much better right here than it is anywhere else. But I think it's worth waiting to get another water plateau. Which means I guess I go ahead and place this. And 21 is more than fine. Then I can't really justify second market. Hmm. It's actually a little difficult. I think it's either a tower or a hut. Probably a hut. So I can get 30 point hut. Might be the only 30 point hut like in this entire thing. There's a pretty narrow margin here where I touch that and that. There might be like one spot up here, but then it might not hit this one. So we'll take it. Um, I think I do not go for that 23 on the hopes that I can get two 30s. All right. Got to find the exact best spot to put that. And no. Okay, it looks like double 30s is not happening, so I actually do want to tuck this 24 all the way in there and take 29 is basically the same as 30 and 25 and 24 respectable interesting I do love how the game puts you in like super complex positions like this, where I would never have been able to predict the exact value of this thing. I could have sat down and tried to calculate it out, but whenever there's so many different variables and buildings spread out, um, it's kind of fun how these scores will surprise you. So basically I either take a 14 here um, in an area which in fairness would not fit anything else or I take like an 8 or 12 and try and boost a couple other buildings out here. And I think I think houses are still going out here. So if I can boost like a single house, that kind of makes up the difference. Um, 16 is even like a respectable score. So... Hmm... I guess I take the 23 and then on the assumption the next one can touch the mason. This seems fine. I mean, the one over here is a lower score as well now that I found that 16. So we'll do that and hope this one fits up here. Nope, it's the exact same shape again. <laughs> uh, there may be no way to touch either <laughs> the city center or the shaman. That's so... Ugh. The fact that this double length does not correlate with this double length, does not match the same size, I should say, it's always a surprise and a frustrating one. You'd think I would just expect it by this point. But. So... I don't know where to put this mansion. I guess out here is my current best plan. So instead, let's look at shamans 
get a nine pointer or a zero, but try and boost some buildings. Um, zero and boost buildings is, is better than nine. I can't get any higher than nine. And once I put a water plateau or whatever out here, then this might be decent, but right now it's it's not. So I could hold it for that contingency. That doesn't seem bad if I can get the points other ways. So up here would be eight, out here would be eight as well. Plus eight, that is nine points. Um <laughs> That's weirdly eight, just because the plateau, um, the wall plateau, that is. Hmm. Don't have a lot of great options here. Hmm. Would have expected more places to sneak this in throughout here. But this area is kind of awkwardly laid out and I've already utilized a significant portion of the buildable space. I'll take an 11. Um, and then there might be some place I can slot this in. in one of these structures. Kind of looks like no though. I can put it out here for decent enough points, but then that kind of gets in the way of the field plan I'm going on. Uh, let's just take this one. And I think at this point I could kind of limp there with walls, um, but I might just go back to huts. Delve that well again. Seven, then some little areas down in here. Not guaranteed to be good, but twenty-three. Huts are so funny. They're one of my favorite buildings, just because they are so small. And you end up with all these, you know, even I try and build really compacted. That's one of my main goals is having everything as close together as possible. And I still end up with all these little tiny gaps that are just begging for a little 20 pointer building. Take 120 and I'll try and walk out of here with a wall. So I'm still hoping to put a mansion there. A hut might fit here. No. Hm. Um. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I'll have to remember that one for later. Uh, this one's obviously great, but I might end up putting like one house here, or maybe a different shaped mansion that can touch the city center. Um. That's probably pretty safe. I might end up putting a wall like here, but that won't interfere. So I think, I think a 12 is actually not bad. I guess I might have wanted to tuck a water plateau in there, but I already have a need for a water plateau here and here, so. At this stage of the game, you can't really afford to plan for getting uh, many multiples of the same building. You kind of have to work with the more realistic prediction that you'll get one or two. Um, hmm. Remarkably bad. So there's probably... Yeah, I saw like an eight. There's probably just some way to score off of the structures themselves and mostly ignore the trees. Um, could just take this kind of mildly awkward tin, if I can find it again. It's fine with me. 
That might be a mistake, actually. It might not be worth giving up that land at all just for 10 points. Uh, get this shape for the fourth time. Unless, wait, this might still be the same. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't place it previously, so I'm still on that shape. My mistake. Um, more fields. Or parks, pardon. Still not super happy with these, but... Ooh. Okay, hold up. These are so much better. I can get two of them if I'm smart. Yeah. Okay. It's a good start. Then... Basically, waiting, 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 waiting. Could do. Waiting, then could place everything out here. I guess I'll go ahead and just do some mansioning. Okay, I did get the shape again, though. So my previous comment ended up being correct. Um, there's just no way this is going to... No. Okay. Get crappy scores with this all over the place. Um, I'll take this eight, because this mountaintop doesn't really speak to me otherwise, and I, um, hmm, maybe I can place it a little differently, yeah. All right, so if I don't get a mansion to fit up here, this wall is going to be pretty good, and it's plus one to the mansion if I do end up getting one. Um, trying to hold this shaman, I guess we're just back to huts, so I'm looking for 20 plus point huts. It's the bare minimum I will accept, but it is acceptable. Maybe I should not have been so cavalier in taking that 20. Seemed to be a bunch of 23s. Uh, that was a terrible building spawn. Like, really, really did not <laughs> give me any of the specialty buildings I'm looking for. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Gotta remember that one. Um, another one of these. Doesn't even fit out there. I'm just gonna put it up here. We are actually running out of space now, which is good. It's a good problem to have, but I do wish I had a couple more water plateaus. I think I'm still saving that. So wasn't there like an eight or something? Oh, I killed the two trees over here, and I killed a couple of trees up here as well. So I may have may have removed that possibility. Um, I'll take a six that's like completely out of the way though, just to score some points. And now I still need a million. Basically, can't justify a um, second market here because it's missing that twenty, and it gets the minus thirty-five. I mean, 87 is still reasonable, though. That's so bizarre, but this might be the play. Because if I ever get a third market, that's where it would have to go, realistically. Like, I can't... If I get a wall plateau and find some way to build it on one of these, maybe. But... I think on the prediction that I have enough longevity left to get a third market... A market is going here, so I may as well go ahead and place that one, I guess. That could be incorrect, but honestly, I also need the points right now. <laughs> okay, well, there's my third market. Still no additional uh, water plateaus. But this city center will at least buff any of these huts that I place now. So I have one, two, three, four city centers. There is one hidden right there. One, two, three, four. Um, so what would be ideal would be a spot like this. That would be easy to get multiple with huts. 
and would not receive a penalty from anything. There's also like a decent location out here. I know I'm getting these minuses though, which is not ideal. That would really be the best. If I can just get a water plateau out here to put this on and this on and this on, then I'll have a stew going. So the question is, can I make it to there without spending any of those? If I use a tower, I believe I can. Yeah, I need to start putting some walls down, but... But yeah, I think we have the distance to get there. Okay, so... Just take an 11. I'm tempted to just take this 14. I mean, even if I have a... Uh, a mansion up here instead? Like, what is the mansion? Oh, okay, I can confirm. Fifteen. Hmm. Glad I checked. That's probably better. Because I can probably get walls in that same category of points. Like, just slightly over ten. But getting a fifteen-point mansion at this point is not super easy. I'll take it. Yeah. And then if I need to, I can still uh, take like an 11 up here. Just a little more anemic, but got to work with what you got. Uh, 21, it's a cool 16 there as well. Probably some good scores diagonally. I don't want to pollute that area yet. I just have two walls left. Those went, up, uh, went away pretty quickly. So... Seventeen, because there's no way to get both of those. The bubble's just a little bit too small. I really feel like it should be possible, but it doesn't seem to be. Huh. All right, seventeen it is. There's even a 14 facing that direction, too. Um, this is interesting. I think it's still a wall. But there aren't any spectacular walls left. I guess I'll just go with this one. Unless I can... Aha! So from this side it's possible. Uh, to tag all of this. And then I can place my next one here and it'll still work. So now it's tower time. I was kind of imagining the tower would go um, in this spot. Obviously, you know, I talk a lot about placing your higher up towers first, um, but I think... I don't think I'll be able to avoid that spot. Um, or I'll be able to de avoid detecting these, I should say. Although, up here might work. Especially if I can find a good spot to place it. I like a 50, and that won't get tagged by this one. So how many towers do I think I'm placing? Um, out here is all garbage. Out here is acceptable. So there's a good one out here, which doesn't intersect this. There's also, like, pretty good ones through here, which do, but might still score higher. So I guess, although this bubble is definitely not touching these spots. Hmm. All right, I think... I think it's this one, because that does get me enough points. And then I can build the others without a penalty. Not terrible. Looking for a water plateau, did not get it. Just more walls. <laughs> Do I have three more spots for walls? Let's find out. Under these conditions, I will accept an 11. I'm not jazzed about it, but... <laughs> hmm. 
might not be any cool sneaky places through here, but it's worth checking. Since this area is already ruined, I <laughs> may as well continue that. And... I guess now it's a wall, or a tower, pardon. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take the big one here. 23. I thought there was a 25 at one point, but I'm not going to spend forever looking for it. No worries, I'll wait. <laughs> okay, plateau. So I think that has to go out here. It'll score well. It will enable a lot of other high-scoring buildings. Over here would be fine as well. That would let me continue my fields, but I think there's just more points here. And I am actually a little point-starved right now. Hence why I'm placing towers. So we'll take that route, and then I think... Oh, uh, there is a correct order with City Center Shaman. So City Center is minus 10, Shaman is minus five. Okay, so you place the Shaman first, but I suppose the Shaman should come after the Seaweed Fields, which means that the Seaweed Farm is what actually comes first, and then the Shaman will be like here, and the City Center isn't as picky. It has a pretty big possible space. Okay, this is decent, this is decent for sure. Um, 46 seems to be about the max, then can score a couple nice point values off of that. Then a 22, and then just one minus five, we can still easily get a 51 which is, like, quite good at this point. Yeah. Okay, that worked out really well. Glad we waited. Using the royal we, just in case this goes wrong, I can divert blame. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think mansions have to just go out here. Just, like, three mansions. Maybe just two. Um, I don't think it's worth putting down a park first. Alternately, there's 30 points here versus... I can already get pretty decent scores just playing the angles on these things. Minus 10, hey. It's amazing that I can get a negative 48 and still be at plus 10. Okay, yeah, we'll do mansions. I think I've convinced myself. Those are good shapes. Now, yep, three mansions touching everything. More than happy with that. A um, lot, a lot of points right there. And that will also maybe enable me to get some more four uh, hut circles. Like, obviously these huts now look like a mistake, but keep in mind we had to get here, so you do have to place them at some point. Um, if I was going to put my new shaman out here, I should have waited on those huts, but I don't think I was going to. I think there's uh, greener pastures. Should have waited on those mansions. I think I said huts. I mean, there's a 15. Could also... Try and wait and go here. Or I could go back to that plan to get a zero over here. Which may have... Oh, okay, there is one. That's just not a great spot, though. At this point, my houses are getting a little choked up. I'm running out of room. Twenty-eight sounds about right. So I'll assume that is the kind of score I'm looking at. Um, 
26 is. I'm not getting this tower out or that city center out there with that location. But that still might be best I can do. 25 as well. It's good stuff. But I may have taken up all of the spots which would intersect all four of them. It's like mildly disappointing, but really not a big deal. Okay, awkward. It is good to get another warehouse, though. That does significantly benefit this market. Should probably be the next thing I place. So, do I have anywhere acceptable to put this thing? Uh, no, I'm actually out of space. <laughs> I'm, I'm like legitimately very close to out of space, which is interesting. I normally find I have plateaus left over, but obviously, you know, the random chance element in the game is significant with regards to what buildings you are given. Makes a big difference in how each island plays out, but... Okay, don't... doesn't really seem to be a great place to use the warehouse right now, or the market for that regard. So I think I need to go into uh, space conservation mode. So I think the space on the plateaus is really valuable. I think the space out here is a lot less. So I'm going to start placing some of these for points and to boost the value of these parks. Because at this point, an 11-point park is, is great. I say right before I see a 16, but there's a very finite number of those 16s. Um, this is cute. It doesn't... It occupies space I might be able to use for other mansions, but I think other mansions up here will just be like 3 points or something, because they won't quite be in contact with that wall plateau. Um, yeah, this one can't get there. So see, it would have been three points. Versus if I build them um, by one of the city centers I have, it'll already be nine. So that seems like the clear play. Um, it might even be the play right now. Although it's... Hmm... <laughs> It might be time to just take that plus 10 I was remarking upon earlier, or even to, uh, it's probably a better, yeah, I will accept a plus 25. If I place another, it'll probably be out here anyway, so they won't overlap. One tower, three huts, partridge and a pear tree. Okay, let's go huts. So there's another 27. 27s are quite good. That's awkward. Uh, still no additional water plateaus. Like this, you saw what this one plateau did for us. It carried us through that entire round. But I can definitely still get hosed here if I don't ever get another water plateau. So we have a 37 versus uh, out here it's going to hit a negative so it's probably not getting close in score and three points per park is not going to be enough to outpace that 37 so I guess that's the play that works for me doesn't quite fit in there again I'm mildly disgruntled by that but no big deal um, I know this moves me off grid, which is like slightly annoying. It might be better to take this 37 and then fit something up in there. Um, just trying to conserve space. So I think I have to place this mansion. And this last 27 point hut. 
I'll find a 27 somewhere. I don't think they'll be any better. Yeah, we'll call it 27. Maybe two will fit. Oh, huh. Rotated that way, it slides in. Interesting. I'll take that. Now, it might be tower time. I just don't see anything else here. I mean, the mill I can get like 25 points from, maybe, if I just find some reasonably valuable spot in this area to cram it. Um, I mean, even over here is there's 25 already. Um, it's probably more out here, yeah. But ideally, I'd like to even get a little better score from that. So if I can hold it, that would be great. So get an 80 or avoid that minus 30 and get like a 60. Um, we're out here, 45, 45. 80 seems good. So I just need to find the best location on this. <laughs> to build it. So we have literal 80 and lower values. All right. Oh, oh, okay. 88. I'm going to assume it doesn't get better than that. Might be incorrect, but I don't think so. Now, let's get these birds. Very small detail, and I mean, no offense to the team, but like clearly not a ton of work went into these. Um, but I find, zoomed out at least, they, they do kind of add to the ambiance. Um, I mean, there's stupid stuff I could do like this to get the one point I'm missing. Like, I'm never going to put anything else out here. Am I really going to build two of these now that I have a fountain out here? I don't want to waste that space, etc. Um... Could do that, nothing else has fit in there. But honestly, there's probably a two pointer somewhere out here. Although I've taken up a lot of this land. This is one of the problems you get into with the archipelagos, is that there's just so much less ground to build on, even with all the plateaus, right? Um. I will take that plus 10. That I'm pretty happy with, actually. Still no water, so this is going to be a rough one. Um, I think I build this in such a way that I can place two. 21's great, given where we are. Get an 18 or a 16. Hmm. It's about 21. And we'll have to place this hut for sure. Now, where to use this? It's actually like a really complex question because I have a lot of weird locations around the map where it will score, and I have two more to place. So wherever I place this should enable two other Lumberjack locations, ideally, in addition to scoring well itself. So that's like a pretty difficult ask. Hmm. I think this might just be the play. Um, I think eight is about the best I can expect from it. And I think I'll be able to find... I don't know, though. It's definitely a challenging decision. I'm going to go with this, mostly just for, for time. But there might be a better solution somewhere. And there just has to be, right? Like, these are just going to suck. 
All right, let's go with this six instead, and then get a easy six there, and I probably should have found both of these sixes before placing the lumberjack. Um, well, I can get a slightly further away six there, and then... No, not even a five. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I'm getting two sixes. One of them can be there, one of them can be here. That seems like a, uh, this was six, these are both six, versus that being an eight, and then these being like a four or whatever. It probably works out almost exactly the same, but it felt a little better. Plus it frees up this spot for me to hopelessly wiggle a brewery into. It's even a decent point value brewery. I'm just like so low on space. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing any better than that. <laughs> Be a real ha Hail Mary to try and wait for more points out of that space. And I think it's time to place some more dumb fields. That's a dumb field. That's a pretty dumb field. All right. I need 23 points. Also notice we just passed the 6,000 point mark. So, you know, we're getting a decent score out of this island, but nothing, nothing amazing. And I find decent's about all you can hope for with this layout. I can probably get there with just the shaman. Might have to place like one seaweed field to do it, but maybe more than that. I can just get 15. Oh, 17. 17's pretty good. It's like minus five or maybe seven from what it could be. That seems like a pretty minor loss. I'll take the 17. Now I just need six points. Okay, I can probably get that just by placing two assorted fields lost out here in Nowhere's Land. If any of these are large enough. They're pretty small. This might not work. Okay, sweet. Okay, water plateau, no. Okay, that's pretty disappointing. Um, obviously, I'm not, like, guaranteed to get one, but I've been waiting <laughs> a while. Um, there's no amazing houses left. I think I've filled up all of those potential spots. There's a 10, though. That's not bad, really. At this point, I'll take it. Then, I guess we're still waiting on these. I don't really have... I, there may be no legal location on this map to place the market. In fact, I'm pretty sure there isn't. And there actually might not be a legal location now for the warehouse. I've used up a lot of land in just these past couple rounds. Um, okay, well, there's here. <laughs> so I can get 13 points out of that. Um, I'm out of towers. I'm going to have to use, like, everything, and I might not even get there. But let's make a valiant attempt. So I think 28 is probably where that maxes out. Yeah, I'm not predicting anything higher over here. 22. There might have been like a 25 that was right here, but that is still lower than 28. <laughs> so I'll take it. Then I guess we'll see what my balloon score can be. Probably that 90. 90 is a good balloon. Of course, 105 is a little bit better. 
I don't think I can wait on the market. I think I need the balloon to get through this round. <laughs> then... Take a easy 16. There's probably one good wall out there. Maybe two. Might need to look out there next. Can get 8 points. 15 points is completely acceptable. It's 115, and then I just need one point, I think, to, yeah, one point to move on. So I might try and find another field real quick. It's funny, like, when you're just looking at this, I have essentially no idea the scale of this island. Like, when I was looking at it, I honestly didn't know if this would fit easily or if it would barely fit, or as is the case if it would not fit. But without anything else to ground my sense of scale, I was just shooting in the dark. Um, let's just place a seaweed field. I, I don't think this dream is going to pay off. So, 13, is that a 14? Okay, 14, 18. Boy, howdy, that's the play. All right. Hmm, that might have killed me. Uh, it'll be close either way. Okay, so 50 points for the tower. Can I better that? I suppose I should place this last. So I might get like one additional point out of waiting. 57 right there, that's probably... Oh, I saw 58. Okay, so we'll place it over here by the fields for 58 points. Oh, 60 something. Sweet. Slip it out of this little bit of rock right there. Okay, 60 something points from the tower. I need like 160 ish. So, can I get 100 points from the rest of this garbage? Quite possibly. So, I think it's going to come down to interactions like this. So I can get 13 points right now. If I place the seaweed farm, that's four additional. So the seaweed farm over here is worth 14 points, plus I can easily put all three seaweed fields into it. Versus if I... Oh, okay, that 22 is... That just has to be, like, way better. <laughs> no way. Um... Yeah, unless I find some other dope spot through here. I think 22 is so good at this stage. Um, I don't think I can get more than 22. A, because I can't really turn this building around, and B, because that area is full of negative structures. So we'll take a 22, then get some reasonably high value seaweed farms then looking at this garbage I might I might not need the warehouse De depending on how good the wall is that kind of decides the whole thing and the park I guess um, we're like right at the end though if it wasn't clear we, we are out of steam <laughs> deflated pretty quickly but Okay, there's a 14. I could alternately take a minus one. 14, my heart tells me, is probably the, the high score. But... Worth glancing around. I don't see anything that looks like it would even be competitive with 14. So, or 15, I mean find one additional point to touch. wonder if... Hmm. Does one of these fit here? Okay, it does. So let's see if I can get a comparable score now that that is placed. Because if I can, then that's like definitely the strat. Um, it might be the strat even if I can't. It's just going to be a much harder sell. Mm. 
then like this just doesn't fit up there, right? Okay, where else could this line park go? Basically a summary of the entire game of Islanders is just doing this. Um, I think 11 plus placing that field is more points total. And yeah, I might not need the warehouse. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of a pipe dream to think that I will suddenly get exactly what I need to make this warehouse and the other buildings I get score me enough points to get me another round of buildings, but it is theoretically possible and you have to play to your outs. Uh, which is a saying I learned from Magic the Gathering, which basically equates to um, if you are going to lose in most circumstances, the only logical choice is to play as though things will go the way that enables you to win. Um, so make predictions and assumptions of the future such that if your outs, that is the random occurrences that will result in a win for you, occur, that you are able to win rather than playing to like keep yourself alive or whatever and uh, making decisions that will not enable you to win uh, when your out arrives. So I think a 63 over here is the play, and we do get more buildings with a decent little stockpile. You know, there's some points here if I had water plateau. Nope. All right. This is almost certainly death. I, I don't foresee this going well. I don't think I can place any of these. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is over. Um, I'll place it out quickly just so we can see what the final score is. And then maybe a few ending thoughts about archipelagos and the struggles they present. So I guess I can't do that because I actually need to put this here because it doesn't fit anywhere else. So we'll take a 13 and hmm. There's like nowhere through here to put houses or mansions to try and score off those parks. So instead I'll just do like something out here. Did you see for a second there I was, oh yeah, there we go. I'm clipping over nothing. Six points and four points are my <laughs> unremarkable final scores there. I'll just take an 11. There very well could be better, but I'm not going to drag this out too much longer. 29 and 29. Then last but not least is there a good spot for my final park? There are legal spots, but is there a good spot? Uh, it doesn't really super seem like it, so. I was kind of hoping one of these would be <laughs> large enough. <laughs> They're all like just barely too small. Oh no, is this park unplaceable? like nothing through here. Nothing around here. I should have placed this less clipped in, I suppose. But I remember getting a pretty good score from that, so. Yeah, I guess this is the end. So this has been an Archipelago Island. Uh, we scored roughly 6,500 points. Uh, the basic strategies 
that I use to approach archipelagos, what makes them different from normal islands, is that you will be deciding where your city goes. So you have minimal benefits from the natural land, um, but you still need to keep it in mind and make decisions with where you place your plateaus such that you are able to utilize it. I mean, you see, I was doing that up here, um, obviously the green buildings, but then also even over here, um, entirely covering the statue island. Um, you need to utilize what little you are given in order to score well on these islands. Additionally, um, I like to use the square water plateaus to form a large uh, contiguous area rather than trying to use the awkward T-shaped ones. Um, I find they end up resulting in water gaps, which are bad for your score. So I use them for individual point values or around the edge of the area. Um, also, make sure you are placing your plateaus spreading in the direction your city will be going. Um, so you end up doing things like this, where I placed a lot of these before I'd even put buildings on the first one. Um, but I did end up, as you can see, using all this space, and a lot of this scored pretty well. So uh, planning your city a little bit more ahead of time, um, and less of sort of letting what buildings you get dictate your build. Because um, you'll just need to assume, I'm getting a certain number of water plateaus, I'm getting... Uh, all the other buildings and kind of think what structures are going where so you can go ahead and have plateaus ready in those areas. Um, but I hope everyone enjoyed this video. It's nice to come back to Islanders now and again. Uh, I know that my channel started as just Islanders videos and I've branched into a couple other games since then. Um, that will not change going forward. I'm still going to have other gaming content up on the channel, um, but every now and then I will return to Islanders. Make sure to keep uh, dropping these Hopefully chill, hopefully helpful videos for anyone still playing this adorable indie darling. And uh, that's all I have to say for right now. So, hope you all enjoyed. See you here next time.